Hey, what's up, everybody? Mogi on Monster here, along with Stevie B. Hello. Welcome to Why the Fascination, or WTF as we like to call it. Hope everybody's doing well. Good to see everybody in chat. Sharon Guy, how are you, Sharon? Good to see you. Karen, how are you doing? Hey, Karen. Jim's camera. What's up, buddy? Mr. Hugh, how do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Christy, how are you? Harold, what's going on? I was going to say, where's Harold? Yeah, he was here first. <laughs> I'm, I'm scrolling back. Greetings. How you doing, Danny? What's up, Danny? Chiro. Oh, Chiro's here? Yeah. Very cool. I didn't have, we were talking and I wasn't even paying attention to chat. Northwoods. Good to see you. Oh. Phone, phone just came unplugged. What's up, Northwoods? Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, it came unplugged and it started so playing. <laughs> I'm never ready. <laughs> yes, indeed. He tells no lies. <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a true story. Yeah. True. How's everybody doing? What's today? Tuesday? Tuesday. I know. <laughs> Feels like, I don't know, next Tuesday. I hope everybody got a happy <laughs> Easter. Oh, yeah, it was Easter weekend, it was. wasn't it? Right on. Yeah. I guess just, I, I should start by. My computer wasn't muted. I don't think it. Yeah. That's if weird. the volume's down, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe. I don't know. It just, I mean, I just hit mute. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so last night we're we're hanging out watching videos and I've been watching um, uh, this channel Flasher Beauty and <laughs> it's a great channel. They they have they do some great interviews. Great, great interviews and it's you know it's different aspects of psychology or you know whatever of Bigfoot and and whatnot and. People's experiences, but also their knowledge and they share a lot of knowledge. They do. Yeah. Um, so we're watching an episode last night, and it's good halfway. It's more than halfway through it. And it was like three quarters of the way through. Yeah, this guy's next. <laughs> I look up, and this guy's got his finger up his nose. I mean, he's knuckle deep. Knuckle deep. <laughs> it's I, like, whoa, I, I, wait, I, what? what? <laughs> I must have looked up at the same time, honestly, because I look I look up, I look over at him, and we just both, like, the look on both our faces, yeah, it, it was. We, we laughed. I couldn't believe what I just saw. And then we were glued to it after that because <laughs> we couldn't look away. Every time he would touch his face. He would just go, and it's like, get your goddamn hands away from your face. <laughs> And he, what time he, he does one of these, and you know he's got something on his thumb, and I'm like, flick it, flick it, <laughs> yeah. just yelling at the screen. We're, we're freaking balling. But like it was kids. just like, I, I couldn't believe the guy <laughs> just did that. <laughs> you know what was what was cool, though? He was actually interesting to listen to. Yeah, so you, you kind was, of forgave him. He, and, was, he was kind of funny, <laughs> but very informative and intriguing, for sure. But, yeah, so you almost saw past the oh. knuckle deep nose picking going on <laughs> wasn't what i expected to see for sure it, it was it caught me off guard <laughs> how's jay fritz doing i spoke with him today earlier well message through message yeah he's doing okay he's doing all right i haven't spoken with him mr lee bobby ounce how are you I mean, he's, he's, he needs prayer, everybody. He does. Yeah. He really does. But he's doing okay. Hanging in there. Lester Taylor. He's probably watching. Jay, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's lurking somewhere. <laughs> you would think. <laughs> All right. I'm just now bringing up chat on my phone. And Michael Haywood, if you're out there. Or if you're going, I want a fish update. I guess <laughs> he promised. Guess, yeah, well, we get this. I, this uh, I have proof <laughs> message this morning. You know, it's always hey, good morning, Mugs. Hey, what's up, Michael? Good morning, Michael. 
and he takes me he takes a picture of bait i'm like oh he's going, oh you got a picture he's going fishing just a bait well he he's like oh it's on now he said he was gonna send me a picture of his catch he didn't he, i got a video of him on the boat well, no he didn't say boat ride a he didn't bit. say his catch he just said he would send me a picture and i have yet to get one mr haywood <laughs> i hope he had a good day my flock how are you mr lee yeah. says i love picking my nose especially in the morning let's <laughs> just said elbow deep in a nostril yuck <laughs> elbow deep I know <laughs> well I was the one that said he was knuckle deep <laughs> he didn't just yeah he just didn't say which, which knuckle I didn't no. <laughs> I, it was so bizarre to just yeah <laughs> I wonder if you thought about it afterwards like oh I shouldn't have done that or, or damn it, they should have damn edited it. that. <laughs> Why didn't they edit that? Well, I think at that point, he was talking about something interesting because yeah. we were focused on, I mean, we were listening to, to everything he was saying. And like I said, just to look up and see that, I, I'm like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? It was funny. It was but, one of it was one of those where I woke up today and I hurt and I'm like yeah, from laughing. And it's from laughing. <laughs> but the funny thing is, <laughs> I believe after you know just watching him, his character, he probably would have been like, ah, fuck it, leave it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Got my point across. Right. Yeah, they have some really good interviews. Yeah, that's got my nose itching. Damn it! <laughs> Hands away from the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, NAC prayers. He says he's got uh, shoulder. Oh, God, I can't even talk. Sorry. Long day, guys. Shoulder surgery coming up next week. Oh, geez. Yes, definitely prayers. Buster says. Dang, the only thing we can catch in Iowa today is snowballs. Hmm. We can catch cold. Right. Bobby Yards, good to see you. Larry Hart, good to see you as well. I just love to see that. <laughs> Prayers going up. You know, it's like. I know. Well, I saw it. Well, I, I, I believe I, strongly in prayer. You know, like. The power of prayer? Yes. Uh, I'm a you true know, believer. I'm but when I you do it, mass, to it, when you do it with a lot of people praying for one person, right. or, you know, just in, in a, I don't know, just, just, I, I, I am a true witness to the power of prayer. I believe so many people offered prayers when I went to the hospital and had my amputation. It, it's yeah. Cause I never, I pray, but I never like pray for myself. <laughs> you know, I don't think I do either. I don't think I have. I mean, I don't want to say I haven't ever, but no, I definitely don't make a habit of it. No, well, Bobby's Bobby's got it. Praying for a successful surgery and recovery, recovery. for sure. Hey, girl, good to see you. How's it going, girl? So yeah, guys, um, welcome everybody. Uh, those in chat, those are just hanging out watching. Um, Shit, I was gonna try something, but I, I forgot all about it. No idea. What I was gonna post to. the. I was gonna post the link in the description. Oh. So if anybody is in, just watching, they can click on the link. Like they're not in chat. They don't have to go into they the chat. Yeah. To, well, but does that make a difference though? Or I, I don't think so. As long as the link is there. Right. You know, I can put it in the description. It was, I was thinking about that yesterday, and I was like, oh, that might work. I don't see why not. But I forgot about it, so, oh, well. But what I will do is put the link in chat. Anybody wants to come hang out, you got something you want to talk about, click that link, come hang out. Um, if you don't want to be on camera, bottom of the screen, depending if you're on a laptop or whatever, phone. Uh, hit stop camera. You don't have to be on camera. Um, what else? Northwood said a few years ago I was on my bicycle and got hit by a car. A lot of people were praying for me and my 
my recovery took far less time than the doctors expected. Me as well. Oh, I'm, yeah. I mean, definitely me. I mean, right after my amputation, the morning after, I was well enough to sit up in the bed, swing my legs over with legs I had left. <laughs> I was, later. I was sitting up on the edge of the bed asking for a wheelchair because I wanted to, to I wanted to get out of the bed. So I believe prayer had, if not everything to do with it, a majority of it. Because I was praying for you. I didn't even know what was going on. Just because, you know. Because you had a nerve for me. Yeah. I, know. I still feel bad. It's all right. I forgive you. But no, my my recovery was uh, it wasn't easy, but it was a lot easier than most. And I, oh yeah, I believe oh yeah, prayer had a lot to do with that because there were a lot of people. But there was also hard work involved that you. Oh, well, you, true. You know. But mm. you know, although you know, you think of like physical therapy, and it's you know. Grueling and somebody using like one of those parallel bars to try to walk on new legs. And I still haven't up. seen those bars. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really haven't. She didn't. She didn't have any of that physical therapy. I saw a walker and I didn't. I, I was like, wait, a walker? You know, like, that work? No. Well, yeah, I was expecting the bars because that's oh, when you first tried you them on. Well, yeah. 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 Well, that's you guys what saw you that. See. I showed you that I, I, that video. That's what you tend to see are the parallel bars and the ramp and all that. No, I was handed a walker. Ooh. Said, hang on. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, and a catfish. It is, Lester. Lester said, knowing people are there emotionally for you is a strong, is strong medicine. I believe it is. Oh, yeah. Support like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Holy crap. There's a, there's a, Catfish uh, reminds me of our too. New Year's Day a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty. That's exactly what it reminds Tw me of. Twenty-two <laughs> crappy and one catfish <laughs> the whole day. I know. This is Mr. Haywood's uh, haul for the day fishing. It's a bunch of crappie, and then there's a catfish in the back here. Good size, Sorry about huh? the glare. Good size catfish. Yeah, right on. That's awesome. This looks like a white bass, too. That's cool. Yeah, that is a bass. See right here, this one. See the lateral, oh, line, yeah. lateral line? Yeah, yeah. Let me see. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, what caught my attention... And I know it's not it, but look at the dot on the tail. Yeah, the thing is, is that it's I that, know that's his eye. Oh no, get out! Right there is his eye. <laughs> get out! Oh no, shit! No, because look, if you hold it that way, I see it. But the, it's the tail of the other. Yeah. See, I wasn't wrong. Well, that's great job, uh, <laughs> Michael. That's awesome. That is. That's cool. I'm glad he got out. Yeah, but that's what happened. One day we were at Lake Jessup. Jessup, that's right. New Year's Day. We fished all day. That was like eight hours. Pull it. We took like 22 crappie home and one, one catfish. catfish. It was funny because we've been there so long. I taught her how to fillet that day. <laughs> she hasn't done it since. No, I want to. <laughs> I want to. I said the last time we took some out of the lake. In her backyard, I I wanted to, but by the time I got home, he had already done it. I will. Oh hell yeah! Northwood said, um, "I lost an inch in height from that little accident, but I will take that over being paralyzed." Right. Indeed. Lester know, wants to know what time's dinner, Michael. <laughs> right, <laughs> it's a fish fry. Heck yeah! Yeah, when I was ten, I had a, a skateboard accident, and uh, I ended up in the hospital in traction. And I had knocked my second and third vertebrae out of place. Good Lord. And they said if I had knocked my first one out of hair more, I would have been paralyzed. Mm. So yeah, thank God. 
You were blessed, for sure. I still landed on my head. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> and here we it are. It explains a lot. <laughs> oh, it's not the first time I landed on my head. I know. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Maya had something to say over there. Right. Lester said, I sacrificed a cow today. Does that count? Oh. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> LOL. So, so far, far, it tastes, tastes pretty good. good. <laughs> How do you eat a cow? Grab one, a burger. <laughs> one bite at a time. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to go. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know how I get subscribed to some of this crap, and it's stupid shit like Southern Living. I don't need that. Like, I didn't subscribe to it, but I get notifications from it. Well, you must have at some point, whether intentional or not, or that you wouldn't get notifications. So, yeah, guys, anybody wants to come hang out? You got something you want to talk about? Feel free. I know uh, I was talking to, uh, what were we talking to? Derek. Yes. Mr. McManus. Mr. McManus. Earlier. Um, hey, Michael. He said he was considering popping in tonight and saying hi from, uh, he's with uh, Leanne uh -huh. up in Dublin. She just became a grandma for the first time. Yes, she did. Beautiful like baby girl. Four days ago. Yeah. So congratulations, Leanne. Beautiful baby girl. Mr. Haywood. Mr. Fritz. Nice, nice fish, dude. Mr. Fritz. Jay's in here too? Yep. I think I'm gonna have to start wearing glasses. I'm having trouble. They're seeing. right there. Although I could just there we go, never mind. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Is that? Wow. You can do that too. Well, yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I just made the screen bigger so I could see read chat. Because I really don't need to see myself. So <laughs> I do have to see all the chat. There we go. <clears throat> Harold says, I was paralyzed for two weeks at 16. My lower back spinal sac burst. Mm. Damn. I'm glad it wasn't permanent. <laughs> Jay says, doing all right. Got to see a cardiologist in a couple days. 100,000 mile oil change. <laughs> 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 but our prayers are with you, Jay. You know that. He knows that. See, we gotta go fishing with him. I know. Again, it's been, because it's been no, because we're well he knows where the bass are. <laughs> well, they're in that lake behind him. I caught one out of there, remember? Yeah, remember? I caught a couple. I didn't think you did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait. I think Jay was the only one that oh, didn't that, that was, day. Yeah, I don't think he got yeah. squadoosh. I was the first one. Yeah. I remember because yeah, y'all were busy, I, too I busy talking. Y'all were too busy back there talking. Oh, I told Jay. I said, dude, you know what? You just let her do her <clears> thing <throat> and she'll come up with fish. <laughs> <laughs> Might be in her teeth, but she'll come up with fish. <laughs> nice. Goony <laughs> <laughs> goo goo. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Chance, good to see you. <laughs> What's up, Chance? <laughs> hey. Oh, my pleasure, Chance. Went and hung out for a little while. 
this on this Friday night show. One guy, man, he was in chat. <laughs> He's like, I'm leaving if they don't get to the damn game show host. Game show part. host. <laughs> <laughs> and then like finally he said goodbye. Later, ten minutes later, all you saw was bye. <laughs> he wrote and, bye. And, and five minutes later he got on the game show host part. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was funny. There is the link, guys. Oh, what did I see today? It's a it's a brand new channel. Bigfoot and Jeff. And the guy's doing a series, and it's a comedy, and it's it looks pretty well done. They've got one episode and and sort of an explanation of what it is. I didn't watch the, the episode, but yeah. yeah, the guy plays like a park ranger and he and you know Bigfoot's in a suit. Yeah, I mean uh, it's obvious a yeah, costume. From the but, Bigfoot King. No, I know. Yeah. Uh, anxiously awaiting. But this this looks like it's going to be funny as hell. He's got about he's got maybe a hundred subscribers. Yeah, That's and cool. it's a series. To check them out. And it and it looks well done. Very cool. Bigfoot and Jeff. That's what it's called. That's funny. But it's like not it's. Oh, wow. Jay said he found another lake today. Clean banks all the way around. Really? What town? Mr. Lee said, Brian and Chili sent me the link for Bigfoot and Jeff. Looks funny. Oh, see that? That's cool that it's getting out. Yeah, I just saw it today. And it. I was like, okay. <clears throat> so... This might be one of those people that I reach out to. <laughs> Brand new channel. Yeah, dude, come hang out. Tell us about it. And then it, it looks it looks funny. That's cool. Yeah, you know, the the costumes, you know, kind of meh. But oh. it's all right. It's meant to be funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I say laughter is the best medicine. Indeed it is. Bigfoot and Jeff. And the guy who's playing Bigfoot, he's a big guy. I yeah. Mean, he's, yeah, he's got to be pushing seven foot. Jeez. Yeah, I'm guessing. Or, the, or Jeff's really friggin' short. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about what Jay said, that he found another lake, clean banks all the way around. It's got to be nearby. I can't see him going wandering off too far. I'm curious where it is now. Although he has been known to wander. Me, oh, yeah, just, thank. Just kidding. No, he's. I'm not. <laughs> he's a wanderer. You blink and he's. <laughs> Christy, say hi to your daughter. Howdy. What's your daughter's name? Oh, it would help if I put on all messages. Michael must be washing the fish smell off. <laughs> Cammy. Hey, Cammy. Hey, Cammy. Good to see you. Well. No, no, that you're there. Right. Glad you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Mr. Lee put up the, the link, Bigfoot and Jeff. Right on. Thank Absolutely. you, Mr. Lee. I'm looking forward to watching. Yeah, it, it looks, I don't know how Checking often you're going to be putting them out every week, every two weeks. I have no idea because it looks like there's a lot of, I think the first episode is maybe 10 minutes. Okay. But it's, you know, it's, an, it's a, cool. a comedy. It's pretty funny. Jay says, I'll let you guys know where it is after I fish it. LOL. <laughs> oh. Leave the sloppy seconds for us, I guess, huh? He just okay. knows we'll go in there and land one quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to find lakes with a clean uh, 
you know, the shorelines. Yeah. yeah, all the way around. A lot of weeds, um, cattails, alligators. Um, what else? <laughs> Gators, the main thing. I think the next chance we get, we're going to go <clears throat> right past us, like, I don't know, a mile from here. There's another lake. It's called Trout Lake. But to get to it, you got to go like under the highway. You swear you're going through a sewer tunnel, but you know, that's how you it's, do it. It's a drainage, but there's enough clearance. That's a ranger, a ranger bass boat can fit, yeah. fit through it. We can go through it. So with a kayak, we'll be fine. Yeah. But there's, I saw this guy out there, and he was, he was netting for bait, and he pulled in a bass. I saw him release it, just flip it off the boat, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Well, it had to be seven, eight, nine pounds. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get to see it. But and I asked him when they came by. I said, "Dude, what was that? A bass that you threw back just a little while?" He's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Holy shit!" So I know there's big bass in there. So I think uh, we're gonna go hit that up. Well, it's not that big, so we can cover the yeah. whole thing oh, in a day. For sure, you know. I think that would be cool, and then I'll and I will bring a fish finder. <laughs> right, Mr. Lee said yes. We need some comedy in this community. Indeed. In life, in general, I screwed up as things. Are Lighten nowadays. up, people. Right. And I say, says at Jay Fritz, put up a sign saying Jay's private spot. <laughs> If I get up to Alaska, one of my kids will set me up with a fishing trip and Wait, whale watching trip. It was all I could do to not say that I didn't want to see my ex <laughs> while being out on the ocean. That's just wrong. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble reading lately. Just lately. It's just all, it's all blurry. Dina P. I don't even know where my glasses are. Right there. I said I tucked them under your little brother. There you go. Well, that's the other pairs over there, too. I don't, I don't know which is which. I don't know which is which. <laughs> I don't wear them. I don't remember if it was the black pair was I for, I have mine right for here. this or Mr. Lee's going to trip out. No, take them off. Here, I'll show Mr. Lee. Dina P, what's up? Those are mine. But mine are for seeing distance, and they're See if this helps. transitional lenses, so they have the sun shades. This does help. Does it? Yeah. Good. But Keep them on. Damn things. Keep them on. No, then I get to glare. It doesn't matter. Have you? How many people have you seen doing lives that wear glasses and there's a glare? Nobody pays attention to it but you. Just saying. I glare. Just saying. It doesn't bother anybody, I don't think. Uh, no, I gotta get um I gotta get you some. You do. That's the thing. Lester says all this fish talk reminds me of a new drink I saw today called the lot lizard. Half tequila, half canned tuna juice. Yeah, um, um no. It just seems like it would be gnarly. Mr. Lee, oh my God, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, Lee, Mr. Lee, told you. He was wearing them. He needs to. All right. What did Jenny say? Lord only knows. <laughs> <clears throat> Jake, know why women wear panties? He says joke. Always a cover on a manhole. You read it. I'm, sh I'm sorry I did. <laughs> I'm sorry I read that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, Northwood said being able to see is more important than any, any glare. Who said that? Yeah. Northwoods. And Christy said, Moog, you look fine. What are you crying about, Maya? Yeah, I, I got to get used to them. I never wear them. I spent the money on them. I might as well friggin' use them. Right. This side is good. This is my strong eye. 
Deixa eu pegar. Paradox Fossil, how are you? Hey. How are you doing, Alan? Who else? I'm sure I missed somebody. I always do. It's my MO. <laughs> Just miss people left and right. So what else is going on, guys? We live a boring life. <laughs> Just the une uneventful. I did. The last this past weekend was uneventful. Got some stuff done around the house a little bit. Some stuff done on the car. He's been yeah, working I'm on trying my, to detail the car. Uh, the interior. My truck. <laughs> Shut up. It's you. Shut up, you. <laughs> it's messy. <laughs> now it's your truck. Fine. Doesn't have a tailgate, though. Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-read, Mogs. Pre-read. <laughs> Got to be able to see it in order to read it. Right. Pre or post or during or whatever. <laughs> yeah, we got these. Uh, I know you guys, some of you guys are dealing with uh, some nasty weather right now. We're supposed to get some tomorrow. Yeah, we're, we're getting some tomorrow. Um, Later in the afternoon, I think, or late morning, should I say. I know there's, no, there's been a lot of tornado warnings, and I don't, I haven't really watched to know what touched down or anything, so hopefully everybody's safe out there. I had to, like, add a couple ropes to the boats because I just, I, I saw what happened <laughs> A couple weekends ago when they had a bad storm come through. I mean, they're in their own slips now. So, but I just reinforced some of the ropes because they have a wind advisory out and a bunch of fun stuff. Northwood said, sometimes it's better to have a boring life. True. I get what you mean. Yeah, it's not complicated. We, uh, I don't think it was boring or it's boring. I just think we're, you know, we're comfortable. Simple. We're comfortable. Yeah. <coughs> Blessed. For sure. That's how I feel. I think I'm going to get a headache if I keep wearing them, like, constantly. You got to do little, little at a time. That was a little at a time. Well, yeah, but then do it again tomorrow and live no, longer I'll, tomorrow. I'll put them on again here soon. Mm -hmm. I want to read something. Sure. <laughs> sure. Keep telling yourself that. Uh, we had one in Missouri yesterday. Paradox. Uh, had a tornado out that way. I think there was a bunch. I mean, I don't want to say a bunch, but there was multiple. Was it, wasn't there? I mean, isn't that what we were I watching? Didn't, we were watch, I don't know if they had actual touchdowns, though. You oh, know, like, yeah, yeah. there were warnings. and There was purple on the radar, for sure. So when is um, anybody here going to the LBL? I, wasn't, I think it's this weekend, isn't it? Is it? So, I'm guessing i know it's the first week so so yeah it would be i think it's this weekend oh i hope not david says wife may have to be on dialysis but praying not huh We'll just keep sending out those prayers. Keep praying. Eyes in the woods. How are you? She's gone. 
about to say. Just so I don't have to lean in. <laughs> Holy crap. Northwood says, back when I was a caretaker for a place on one of the lakes here, we got hit with a storm that dumped 11 inches of rain in an hour. It took a few days to chase down boats and put docks back together. No doubt. 11 inches in an hour. That's that's a deluge. That's a lot of water. Holy crap. Sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Paradox as well. Northwoods, I've been in those situations in Missouri while working for Marina. Oh, yeah. When I, the, like last week, that storm that came through, I was actually scared getting on that boat to move it. I bet. <laughs> no, 19 foot center console game fisher or whatever it was. Sailfish. Sailfish, yeah. Um, these, the wind was so hard and it was coming directly across the lake and it's not a it's not it's a shallow lake it's not a deep lake so it was just those waves like were building up ocean. and it was like yeah it was crazy he's on a floating dock to begin with yeah <laughs> getting from the dock to the boat was a trick and that dock goes kind of far out over the water and kind of hooks <laughs> A little yeah, but it's not. It's not right. It was a separate. It's a different dock than what's at my marina. Yeah, it's um, not not your regular. So our marina is it floats. It's a floating marina, but it's pretty solid. It is solid. It, it, it the is. way they built that is really cool. The one that they were tied to, that they had to move to, was just one single dock, and it kind of goes out and hooks a little to the right, just slightly. The the right next to the seaplane. What do you call that? Airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like the, a the runway flight. varies every, you know. I know, right? <laughs> every flight. So the dock kind of curves into what makes a little cove for the seaplanes. It's sticking out there, so any type of weather. Northwood says there's no hurricanes here in Michigan, but we do get some big storms. L.I.B., what it do? What's up, Mike? Excuse me. Please, screw. Is that a nail or a screw? Uh, what are you looking at? <laughs> okay. Mike's comment. Hammer. It's a hammer. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't see it. <laughs> like, wait a minute, these things uh, dirty see. or what? <laughs> I mean, I know I cleaned them before I put them on. <laughs> Sharon says, I hate hurricanes. It's too much work. They're too expensive. <sighs> they cause too much damage. There's nothing good about it other than I kind of get out of work, but then I have to, I'm, I'm on. Call. call for emergency services with the county so as soon as things calm down i'm yeah i'm on call basically eisenwood says the weather is impacting so many tonight we are getting ready for a dump of snow one to two feet here in vermont but we want to leave to go to to dax to see total eclipse on monday to dax i'm not sure Is that when it is? It's the sixth Monday. The eighth, I thought. What's the? Is it the eighth? eclipse? Oh, good. Right on. Elena, good to see you. Hey, Elena. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> I 
Heard they're going to build a cafe on the next moon land. It's supposed to be really good food, but not much atmosphere. Uh, the gravity of the situation. Right. <laughs> Sharon Guy says, Jay, April Fool's was yesterday. <laughs> He's always a fool. <laughs> May, June, July. <laughs> Mr. Hugh. I don't know if it's the angle. Mr. Hughes said, anybody seen the vids about the black hole in the forest on the tube? Uh, no. I can't say that I have. Anybody seen a black hole in the forest on the tube? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, Adirondacks. Dax. From what I said. Oh, 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 oh. Be careful, Jay. Is BLB in here? He is. Or was. Jake? What's up, dude? Oh, wait. No. Well, I said like some well. Yeah, BLB, those guys are expecting a lot of snow here shortly. Oh, so she was just bringing his oh. name. Oh. BLB up. Gotcha. Never mind. <laughs> I haven't Breeze. seen those guys in a long time. <laughs> How you doing, Breeze? What's up, Breeze? Jay says, my next show starts in 40 minutes. Wait, where did it go? That's bizarre. How did that move that quickly? My next show starts in 30 minutes. Dogs need to walk. To need walk to walk me. me. <laughs> PRB. Yeah, okay. So I said for him to be That was careful. weird. That was like a glitch. It was there, and then it wasn't. It just like, boom, gone. Gone. Kathy, good to see you. All right. Well, let me just keep posting this. I'm going to spam my own chat. Somebody hit it. I'll just get tired or of it. Or not. <laughs> I know. I was babbling. It. Somebody, please, for God's sakes. <laughs> or not. It's up to you. You know, it's just listen to us babble. Right. <laughs> and I see, says, Again. Jay, don't pee in the neighbor's bushes. <laughs> don't, if you do, don't get offended by the laughter. Oh no! <laughs> He's doing it again. Ah. <laughs> 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 Northwood says, being a fool is one thing, but my ex is far worse and suffers from severe cranial rectosis. Oh, yeah. It's a cranial rectal inversion. <laughs> it's not a pretty sight. I don't want to know. She's got her head up her ass. I know. <laughs> Take my lighter. Ah, uh, probably. Thank you, Here, Thank try you. that one. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, forty-seven in chat. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. Just <laughs> We're here for you guys to come on and, you know, talk. You guys know how this out. works, but, you know. If you don't come on, then, like I said, you just stuck with us. Stick with us. Yeah, there's not even nothing exciting that's happened recently. No. Hey, Sharon. Karen was like, I was thinking butthead. Yours makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's funny. 
which is well, that head is most yeah. similar. Very close. I think that was an acceptable answer. But yeah, it, I believe. Yeah. As long as they're occupying the same space. <laughs> Why aren't you still asleep? I know, right? I just read that. I'm Sorry like, I'm late. I fell asleep. It's 3.47 a.m. here. I, I just think it's incredible that she wakes up and hangs out. And, you know? It's, that's it's awesome. dedication. It is. And we're happy to have you. You know that. But damn. You should rest. <laughs> I feel bad now. I know. <laughs> I missed Mr. Lee, too. Well, you know? well I'm it's... thinking 3.47 in the morning. I'm My alarm goes off at 4.30, so... I get up at four thirty to go to work. The alarm goes off at four thirty. No, I usually get up. <laughs> Shaking the table. A little later than five, but most of the time I try to get up at four thirty. That way I can sit and have some coffee and wake up and not rush. Well, and that's what I've said about Mister Lee, you know, for for the last couple of years. Him hanging out show after show after show. I guess, you know, people may not realize that he is on that time zone where it's the middle of the night for him. I appreciate oh, yeah. it. It's five hours difference, I believe. So, yeah. By the time the show ends. Living here, yeah. Mr. Lee's on like all these other channels, too. I so, I mean, when do you sleep, brother? He, he just said, I sleep in two or three hour cycles. <laughs> I didn't even say it. I know, <laughs> no, you couldn't have. It, it popped up right when just about the time you were asking. Wow, well, whatever works, man, you know, but I don't know. I, I can get eight hours sleep it. and still want a nap in the afternoon. You know, me too. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I've gotten eight hours sleep. No, last night wasn't one of them. No, God, no. I mean, just sitting up watching videos. Well, I did nap yesterday. I think you did. You yesterday? napped late. Yeah, you napped late. It was like <coughs> nine, I think, when you got up. And then had coffee, so that's yeah. why I was up until like two. I was just up until two. Two o'clock in the morning, actually. I got in bed, and then I sat back up. I needed water. And then I went out, and went outside and changed the batteries on the bait because <laughs> I knew they were going to run out before that. So <laughs> I just bought bait, I and mean, I don't want you know to die. Yeah, right. I just changed the water. So after after the show, I'm going to do that. Yeah, shiners are expensive. I forgot they were that expensive. I get a whole, I get like four ounces of minnows. Yeah. And I got a dozen, dozen shiners, and the, the shiners were almost twice what the minnows were. Well, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. But these shiners are like mini freaking whales. Moby shiner. You know, I'm like, holy crap. It looked like he already caught a fish. <laughs> <laughs> he was just reeling in his bait. <laughs> now I get this. I, I took a picture of it. I, one of my shorts, there's a bird that sits that's sitting on the wall. And this thing, if I'm outside, he flies over. The thing stands, you know, Three, four feet. Yeah, easily. Yeah, oh, maybe more. I don't I mean, know I don't if it's know. a. It's not a blue heron. It's not a crane. I don't. I. I thought it was a sandhill crane. Mm -mm. No, it's not. I'm not sure. I know it's not. But I have to take some more pictures. You know, usually I'll just go out and I don't even have my phone with me sometimes. So I can keep, most I of the time you don't. <laughs> it's usually in here. Uh huh. But yeah, I'll have to take some more pictures or videos of it. It's a gorgeous bird. It is. It really is. And it sneaks up on you. 
you know, you look over and boom, it's there. It's like, oh, well, hello. (laughs) There's these other little birds that now they go after the fish. Every time you cast out, like two of them will take off after the bobber and looking for trying to grab the fish. They'll snatch the minnow off my line as soon as I cast, and all I get back is just the head of the minnow. They, they yeah, those birds behind. are smart. They will, they will yank the. They won't even touch the hook. They'll no, just bite the body off the body and leave the off head off on the hook. Leave the head on. Sure enough, it always leaves the fishing. <laughs> That's cheaper, and you get all the shiners for free. Says NAC. It is, but there, yeah. there's a lot of weeds. There's so many weeds out here. It'd be hard to cast net. There's and right right outside the wall. There's you know we have like I just I mentioned it, it's probably almost an acre and a half two acres of of um, lily pads, but there's also grasses growing like right outside the wall. Well, the the I might I might there's there's like what it's like a tree trunk almost, but it's the the base of the lily pads, right? Oh well, no, these are roots that the, that they're roots they, they that... end up floating up to the top. I don't know what they belong to, but they're, you know, that big around. and No, they're to the lily pads. Yeah, that's what I or thought. When they get too big, I guess they break off or whatever, but they float to the top. Um, you get hooked on one of them, and you're reeling it in. And... <laughs> yeah. It's like pulling. It's like you're logging. Yeah. <laughs> you're heavy. And... But no, it's a throw a net out, out here. It's... Gonzalo, what's up? Not impossible, but oh, that's what I was getting at. Is trouble than it, it's worse, I think. There's enough room, like right off the wall, it there's grass, but then after that, it opens up. There's a big we call it a pond, you know, because it's just surrounded by lily pads. But if I get those, you know, that long break, whatever that is, yeah, it's got a blade on it, yes, it's got a like an eight foot, nine foot handle, I can cut down all that grass. That would be wonderful. Pull that all the grass out, and then I can actually. I have a cast net that um, I want to try using um, for bait. So, but in order to do that, I got to clean up a little spot out there. Mm-hmm. Gate Smasher. What's up, Gate Smasher? Hey. How's it going? Good, Enzo. Good to see you. We always went to the marina to get the shiners. <laughs> I've never really like netted fresh water, like for bait. Growing up, I would make traps, killy traps, where the fish swim in, they can't swim out. And it was always brackish water. Um, <laughs> and then I would use the same trap for crayfish somewhere else. You know, just depends on the bait. <laughs> but, um, as far as cast netting and dip netting for bait in freshwater, I, I'm not that familiar with it. Sharon said, I watched the first Roadhouse film yesterday. I saw Sam Elliott and I thought, it's Moogs. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. When I, that, that movie came out in what, 89, thereabouts? And 1990, I was a bouncer at a, a rock club biker bar. Um, and and the owner of the club kind of used that as a training video. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, it was funny. That, those, were, those are fun times. Miss Elisa says the original was okay. The remake is rubbish. That's yeah. what I heard. Yeah, I, I saw the previous to it, and I'm just like, wait, what? That's a, to me, that's a movie you just leave alone. You know, it, it Indeed. Just, it, it's a classic. Let's see what Mr. McManus is up to. Uh, good. Good. Ah. How are you? I am good. How are you? Doing well. Hello. In, in Dublin? 
and I, I've, I've just come out at the right moment if we're talking about movies, because Leanne and I went to see the new King Kong and Godzilla movie. How was it? It was silly, but entertaining. Yeah, Very hey. silly. No, we, we, we genuinely both laughed out loud at a couple of points, and th this is going to sound absolutely stupid, but the bit where Kong gets his bionic hand, we cheered out loud, and that is as stupid as it sounds. <laughs> but it was funny. Wow. Khan gets a prosthetic. Wow. That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. No, it was, it was it was a good day. A good good day out. No, um as you know, and, and, and the, the people watching don't I was on the wee old telephone to you last night and I promised it would come on for a while. But um I went down to Dublin. Now I don't know if Leanne's gonna jump on or not. She said she would try, but I did I did retire to my bed for a while and I'm setting an alarm to make sure I got up and the alarm went off and I turned it off and I thought, why have I set an alarm for two o'clock in the morning and then I remembered, oh I, I promised some hogs I would jump on the ship. Yeah, <laughs> so, it's been a while. Yeah. It's the same. It has been a while, but to be fair, I'm working one silly thing like that, you know. Oh no, we understand. You know, well, who was it? It was a better man than me said that um, work is the scourge of the drinking classes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it kind of helps you support that. You know. I, well, it helps you support the bad habits. Uh, yeah. Right. Funny how that works. Oh. Well, I, I, I got two, two days off this week. I didn't even realize. And um, it was only Dean at work said to me. Last week, he says, oh, we're off next Monday and Tuesday. And I was like, are you serious? He says, oh, okay, we're off next Monday. Next. And I was like, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. No, so as, so as I say, I was, I was all the way down in Dublin this morning. I'm all the way back up here now to talk to you. <coughs> oh, Christy said, I love your accent, Derek. Christy ah, Derek's well, an old friend. He's been around. There's only one and a half, so... Thank you, thank you very much, Christy. Derek's been around for a long years. Time. Yeah. There was there there was a stage when it was the the Derek and Mog show I was on every week back whenever the old <laughs> disease was running about and we had nothing else to do. That's how I got involved in this this carry on. That's how we all got involved, I think. Well, I I got involved just when I started the channel. Right, right. In the beginning of that whole thing, <laughs> Jay Fritz says, the, "There's that guy. I can't understand a word he says." <laughs> Lol. And, and, and I love you too, Jay. I'm glad yeah. glad to see you're still kicking about, us So he said, "Hey, Derek." Uh, hi. Good, good to see you, Jay. And I see Mr. Lee Three PO still kicking about now. To be fair, that that critter that emailed me about a week ago just to see if I was still alive. <laughs> oh, right on. Why don't you just yell out the window? You're not that far. I guess, right? No, well, across the water. <laughs> so, not like you used to whenever it's across the ocean. I think Mr. Lee said somewhere further back in chat that he sent Derek an, an email for St. Patty's Day. Oh, really? Right. Uh, no, 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 I was actually, it was actually in Dublin for St. Patrick's Day. And, um, yeah, no, I saw you over, uh, where were you? You were in someone's chat, Jeff's chat, trying to get on. I know, I did try to get on Jeff's chat, but he, did, he didn't, he didn't pick up. I was standing outside Lloyd's Bar in Dublin on Connolly Street. <laughs> maybe maybe it was ways that he didn't let me on. <laughs> no, I, I went down to me and I was supposed to meet each other, and because it was St. Patrick's Day, the, they turned off all the public transport, and she lives on the far side of Dublin. And done drum and she couldn't even get get in so i ended up i wandered around and i went into lloyd's bar as you call it and it's, it's an old-fashioned bar it's, it's literally on the corner it's um you know it's a triangular shape place sure so i went on there and I, I fell in with a bad crowd and stayed there for a few years no there were some australians came in they were on a bus trip and then i fell in with the locals and that was it just um I better carry on. Oh, okay, shall, we, shall, we tell, shall we tell the shall we tell the people about Leanne's daughter? Oh yeah, I think she's actually uh, 
I mentioned. Stevie mentioned it earlier. I did. Oh, but go oh, ahead. No, we don't, we don't know. Do you tell? Leanne's, Detail. Leanne's now a grandmother with a, a beautiful bouncing baby granddaughter called Sienna Alice. And she yeah. is as pretty yeah. as a picture. Oh, she's adorable. Yeah, I saw the pictures. He's very cute. Those cheeks. Oh, I swear. Oh, cute as cute as <laughs> cute can be. No, that's funny. That was one of the places too. Remember, I was down in Dublin yesterday after I came out of the cinema. There's a an old, well, an old fashioned traditional toy shop just across the road. And I says, Mom, we'll go into the toy shop. I like toy shops anyway. And I says, because we'll be going here quite regularly now that Sienna's on the way. Right. Well, Sienna's here now. And um, yeah. Jamie, how are you? Sorry. It's Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just I'm just reading Sharon's comment there, and I'm I'm hoping she's not talking about me whenever she says it's weird to see how much older he is now. No, I think they're talking about Sylvester Stallone, a movie, his new movie. Ah, no, he has. I uh, no, he has aged up a bit. Well, God love us, the man must be in his seventies now. And says has never been across the pond. Me either. Ah, no. Well, if there's ever a marriage, you'll have to come over for that. I was once. I went to Italy. I've never been. Apparently, I've never been to Italy. Apparently, it's nice. Oh, it's gorgeous. No, yet. Great. I just, I, I just enjoyed the the architecture and the history. And like is. The history, you know, because it's so old. You know, it's like here. Like I used to work for a train in Arizona. I, it was a tourist train. And we'd say, oh, these Indian ruins are 900, 1100 years old. And then you go, you think about like Europe and it's like, they're still using those buildings that are 1100 years know, old. Right? <laughs> it's true. No, there's, there, there's a place outside, outside town, it's called the Rough Fort. And it's, it's all that's left now is two concentric earthwork rings. And, you know, somebody planted trees in them two, well, 200 years ago. And, um, but, the scary thing is that that's where people actually lived two thousand over two thousand years ago. You know what I mean? That's just just crazy when you think on it. It is. I know Michael sent me another picture. I just got to find it. <laughs> that's another thing too. You see, whenever you talk about old things, I met on the way down the bus. There was a young man got on in Gary. And then there was three young ladies got on. Oma. But they all must have known each other. I'm sorry, Derek. Must, must, must have been in college together or whatever because they knew each other, but they were going down to Dublin. And um, it was fairly obvious they hadn't been there before. And we were getting closer and closer. And they turned around and they said to me, he says, um, you know, I says, I, I know Dublin have been <laughs> bouncing up and down for the last two years or more. And he says, will you show us the way to O'Connell Street? And I said, ah, no problem, I'll show you the way to O'Connell Street. And um, so we were walking along. And that's what I said to him. I said, the thing with Dublin is you don't look at what's at street level, you know, because it's all modern shops and things that got there. But if you look up, you see all the old buildings, you know, the old style of buildings, the old brickwork, the old architecture. Sure, sure. Says, that's, that's how you appreciate Dublin, is whenever you look and see the, you know, the history, shall I say? What's Steve saying? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just was fascinated by all that, the the buildings, the architecture, the, the history, the yeah. the cathedrals. You know, how they did Vatican City was just crazy. No, well, if you talk about cathedrals, now I, I did talk about this one the time I was on with Nicky, but Armagh, Armagh is a beautiful city. And it's built in a slight hill. And there's two cathedrals on it. There's a Protestant cathedral on it and there's a Catholic cathedral on it. And if you come towards Armagh, it doesn't matter which route, but it's better if you're coming from the Dublin side, but it works the other side, coming from the Derry side too. You can sort of come round a corner and you just see the, the tips of these spires in the air and then you get closer and closer. And you realise it's, it's these two cathedrals on the top of the hill. 
And it's just a beautiful thing to see. Wow. Now I'm just yeah. looking at the chat here now. I'm sure somebody's popped in and I haven't said hi to. Aluminum. No, it's the same old suspects. I see a whole lot of whole lot of very familiar names now, to be fair. Yeah, it's the same old, same old. <laughs> it's the fam. <laughs> you, usual suspects, that's what you always say. Usual suspects. Although, although some people like Judy has changed their thumbnail now, I have to say. We're, we're throwing Mike off completely because now we're not prairie dogging. When Stevie was sitting in front of me, we'd always look at each other and it looked like we were looking up. So now I, if I look, now I look to my looking you know. to the side. <laughs> so I know he just went, what the hell? Right. What's going on, eh? Whatever works is the main thing. That's it. Judy Wheeler, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, I, I can see now that Stevie's moderating away. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> What's that? Even though I can't see it. I, Stevie's I see moderating? It. Is that... I, I don't know. You've she's just keeping up, with, here. She's keeping up <laughs> with chat. Oh, Mike's walking in the door, telling jokes. <laughs> Stevie, I think I had the same backdrop in my sixth grade pictures for school. I thought that looked familiar. Yeah, it was the now, back of the girls. <laughs> no, you you can laugh. The first the first time Leanne came up here to stay, and she unpacked her bag, and I was in the sitting room and doing whatever I was doing, and I came back out and she'd put me fairy lights around the bed, and round half the rest of the house, and a teddy bear. And that's what I took a picture of it, sending it to my friend Paul. And says, you can tell there's a woman in the house now, can't you? <laughs> oh, dearie me. Jay's got jokes. Jay does? Mm -hmm. He said, I found out what's the best thing to cook alligator in. A crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, like, I, I, did, I did tell this story to Mog. Um, last night when we were on the phone but years ago, whenever I was married, we went to Florida and we were in a shopping mall and we went to leave and um, the security fellow stopped us and he says, I'm sorry, you can't go out to the car park. And we were like, why? And he pointed out the window and there was this big alligator just walking around the car park as nice as you like. Oh, wow. Prowling around. In the parking lot. Parking lot, yeah. They yeah, call it we a car park. Fair enough. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, I'd mentioned how this my neighbor was like looking down in the water over the wall that like a couple of weeks ago. And she's all like she looks confused and she's looking around and I'm standing there and she finally looks at me. She goes, Do alligators leave the water? <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, Yes. Uh, yeah. I said they climb fences, they can probably climb the wall in front of you. Um, so keep an eye on your dog. I'd right, be careful. You can come in if you leave the door open, you can come into the sitting room, you'd be sitting watching the TV. <laughs> no, it'll definitely be a wallet and a belt. Well, the neighbor that he's, <laughs> he's referring to lives down on the end of the wall, so there's a way better chance of something coming up around, oh, around her, wall. her wall, yeah, than here. Than here. Now, I'd uh, say. I'll leave the exotic wildlife to you Floridian folks. Tink, Tink, what is that on your little shelf thing? The Tin Man's oil can? I swear. <laughs> it's a work in progress, uh, you know, her, yeah, her, her, her backdrop. Trying to be funny. Trying. I know. He's trying. Everyone's a comedian. Eh? <laughs> well, at least they think they are. No, Mike. Mike's funny. No, that, that was another thing. Do you see when I was in the bus? 
and it stops at Dublin Airport, and there was a couple at the back of the bus, and they were obviously getting getting the plane, you know, the big suitcases and stuff. And we pulled on at the airport, and I turned around and I said to them, you know, we waited a couple of minutes, and I says, you know, this is the only stop at the airport. I says, if you're getting a plane, you're going to have to get off. And the fella, he looked at me, he says, I, I've been here before, and he says, they stop on up, and I says, aye, that's on the way back. I says, this is on the way down. I said, if you want to catch your plane, I said, you're going to have to jump off now. And he says, well, well, I'm not sure, but I'll take your advice. And they get off. And that was all right, because there is only one stop at Dublin Airport on the way down. And that was grand. We drove off. And I, I looked over at the young ones I was telling you about earlier. And I says, see, that's the father of me. I says, looking after everybody. You know, they wouldn't even listen to it. You know, you're trying to tell them, trying to help somebody. And it's like they don't trust you. Ah, uh, uh, well. Do they have April Fools over there? Yes, yes, we do. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I the the critical drinker did a did a magnificent April Fools juke video. He's a man oh, of yeah. almost almost two million subscribers. He reviews movies and things, and he put up a a joke April Fool about how he was quitting because it had got too much for him, and a whole lot of people fell for it. Hmm. Bigfoot King, how are you, Shane? Great to see you. And that was the Critical Drinker was the name of the channel? Yeah, the Critical yeah. Drinker. His, his catchphrase is at the very end of every show, he says, go away now. Go away now. So <laughs> you, you can see that one, Bob, at the end of the show. Now you can tell everybody, go away now. <laughs> What's the other one? I do a show on Friday nights with um, a fella called Ninja Knight from Dublin, and his catchphrase is allegedly speculatively. And uh, whenever he says that, I put into the chat that um, you have to take a drink. And if he goes, goes mad on it, either 14 or 15 allegedly speculatives in the night, and everybody's very drunk. And you, you two drinking games. <laughs> it's hard to beat a YouTube drinking game. It's hard to beat drinking full stop. It's going to be the death of me, but it has to be done. Has to be done. Well, it doesn't have to have to be done, but I enjoy it. That's the problem. Jay Fritz says, Karen, I was fishing within ten feet of four gators today. You're a better man than man than me, Jay. I was fishing within five feet of one today. Out here, yeah, that little one, the little one, yeah, he's cute. It's annoying. WTF Mike says, Drinking on YouTube is a terrible idea, trust me. <laughs> That's not, I, I, I can do it the very best. It was even better down the flat whenever I, I used to sit on the table and I could just open the kitchen door and reach around into the fridge and just lift them out. But those were the days, eh? Yeah, I've seen a lot of drunkenness on YouTube. Amazingly, that it was mine. <laughs> ah, you're, you're a reformed character. You did that. You got it out of your system. Yeah, it'll be seven years in like, well, in a month. A month from today. Good for you. You're a better <laughs> man than me, Mugs. That's a fact. <laughs> Drinking, were you? <laughs> no, I'm just sorry, I'm just reading the chat here. So, um, Shane, did you have a good trip? I haven't. I'm guessing he made it back. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw well, no, somebody last posted. Time... Oh, what the hell was it? Where was he? Last time we saw him, he was in the airport. That's what I said. Yeah. Gate Smasher says, I wish I still drank booze. Back then, I had an excuse for being crazy. <laughs> nah, no, I don't need an excuse. I just always look, wasn't that it. I have to be honest. Yeah, I didn't need an excuse. Although I have to say, now I did do a beautiful one years ago. My oldest two is twin daughters, and they're 25 now. Oh, wow. 
I was going down the down the street one day. Well, it was a sun, I'll tell you what it was. It was Sunday night, and I went down to check my father's grave. You know, check the flowers and do that there. And um, the two of them rolled out of Frank Owens's bar, out the front door of Frank Owens's bar, straight straight in front of me. And they, you know, obviously they looked over and pegged me, and they looked at me and they thought, "Oh my God, what's Daddy going to say?" But I just thought, I thought, just I'll play this cool. And I just said, oh, "Hello, Emily. Hello, Eleanor. How are you doing?" Um, you out for a wee, wee drop the night or whatever? We said, "Oh, so and so's from school's birthday." And I said, "Are you? That's grand. Happy days. Carry on." Have you seen the wee faces on them? <laughs> they were that relieved that I wasn't going to rip them for being in the public whenever they weren't the age. Huh. But you know what can you do? Children have to grow up. They have to do their own things. They have to learn that sort of stuff. You can't teach that to them. They have to do it themselves. Well, of course. But, you know, I think what's lacking today is direction. Ah, well, they, they turned out, they both turned out, out all right. We, Emily's married now. And she married a man she met in church, believe it or not. All right. It's huh? not, very often, not very often you can turn around and say that nowadays. And Ellen, Eleanor's working on an old folks home. You know, she looked after old people, so not doing too bad, the pair of them. <coughs> Listen to Sharon, everybody. Hit that like. Like, share, and subscribe, as we say. Hmm. Help the channel. Crazy Horse doesn't have anything on me. It's got a monument. It's not done yet, but yeah. Crazy Horse is what, Lakota? I think, yeah. Ah, don't be starting me. You have me singing, and I know I'm not allowed to do that. Because <laughs> I'm crap at it. You're just reading, hold on. No, I'm the same, I'm, I'm trying watching. Mr. 3P was putting up a lot of thumbs up there. Pete Smashers, you know you're, you know when you jump out of the plane and they yell Geronimo, scream Gate Smashers coming. <laughs> now, well, when you talk about jumping out of planes, I recently rewatched. Now it's an old film it's from the seventies, but a bridge too far. You know, it's a war film about Operation Market Garden, but you know they parachute in, you know, to try and capture the bridges in Holland. That's a good film. It's worth watching. But, you know, it was back in the day. It was it was before special effects or any of that there. It was all done live. It was all done on in camera. So you've got four or five hundred people literally jumping out of planes. You know, it's something to see. Well, when they were filming those, was, yeah. You know, well, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Like, we, we, same and Leanne, we love seeing that film. You know, that silly film of King Kong and the Godzilla, but it was all, you know, it was all, all special effects. It was all made in the computer. 90% of it was anyway. But, you know, whenever you actually see an older film, you know, where it's, you know, literally made in the camera, as they call it, it makes a big change, you know. Yeah, it's too, uh, too CGI, too, too made up. <laughs> like the old Godzilla, who's a guy in a costume. That's right, boy in a boy in a suit, a rubber suit. I I love the movies too. The old ones, those and, are great. When I was a kid, ah, oh, oh, the, the they used to be all on Friday night in Channel Four here. Um, it used to be called like Monster Friday or something. You used to set up to watch the, you know, the big, the big monsters, the men in rubber suits beating the living shit into each other. There's Jay's going to bed. Night, night, Jay. Sleep well, son. Sounds good, Jay. Have a good night. Rest. Jason, Jason, night, folks. Old man must sleep. In all seriousness, Russ and Stevie, I'll check out that lake, and if it looks promising, we'll go there. And we'll check out this other lake over here, too. This um, trout lake.
Let me see. It says Mogs, I wrote two original songs and I changed the Shenandoah song to a Bigfoot parody. Hmm. I still have the other ones. Mr. North Alabama cryptid, Mr. and Mrs. Neck. There used to be a pub in Lamavati where I lived called the Shenandoah. Oh, right on. Great. It's called too. Well, Shenandoah is a place. It's a river too, isn't it? Um, it's a mountain. It's a valley. It's, yeah, it's a... <laughs> mountain, valley. Um, but it was also the name of a country band. Right? There you are. Back in the uh, 90s. I'm just wondering no, what song no. it was. No, back, back in the day, the Shannon O used to be a good bar. That was back before, you know, well, it was actually during the Troubles. And um, Catholics drank in one pub, Protestants drank in the other, and the Protestants drank in the Shenandoah. And it was, well, yeah, it was it was a rough working man's bar, shall we say, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no. You know, there was always fights in one thing and another. But my father, he used to do, I don't know if you have this, but, your football coop he used to do his football cooping every Thursday night in the fetch. And I was down in the town one night and I thought, I'll call him and see my father. I went into the fetch. And he did his cooping and I said, You want to go down to Shannon O down? Well, we'll have a drink. He says, I know it's grand. So the two of us walked down and there was a wee girl called Melly. Oh, literally a wee younger, wee blonde haired girl. She was the barmaid at the time. And she seen me coming in the door. And she had two pints of ten sitting waiting on the bar by the time I reached the bar. And my father, I'll always remember this, he turned around and he looked at me like this with the side of his eye. And he just says, he says, you this place well served, it's on, don't you? <laughs> so they already knew what you wanted. I know, I'll tell you the other story about my father, I remember, and you're going back even longer. You, you know, have you ever seen the movie Aliens? Sure. And um, do, do you remember whenever you used to go to the video shop? I know this might be a new concept to some people, but you know you would go down and hire out a video to watch. And I, I went down and got aliens out and brought it up to the house we were living at the time. Stuck it in the old VCRs, watching it on TV. And my father's habit at the time, he took a newspaper. And this, this will be another new thing to people. So he was sitting reading the newspaper, but he had a terrible habit of looking over the paper and watching what you were doing. You know, it would do this. And we got about halfway through Aliens. And, and he had been peeking over the paper and peeking over the paper. He just fucking folded it up instead of down. He would just watch the rest of the film. <laughs> <laughs> always, always remember that. Although the, the other Alien story too is if you watch the extended edition and they have the automatic machine guns in the corridor. My mate Paul, he was watching that one time. He had on full, full bladder and that. He had one of these surround sound systems and everything. And um, the neighbor came over and knocked the window. He says, any chance you can turn that down a bit, Paul? He says, it's a bit loud. <laughs> all the, the all too loud. Uh, WTF Mike says, did you know that Stevie B and Superman got into a fight once? The loser had to wear their underwears on the. They had to wear on the outside of <laughs> the outside from, from then on. <laughs> well, at least they didn't have to wear it in their head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a sucker bet. <laughs> I don't leave the house anymore. <laughs> Mount had mountain sheep for Easter. Hmm. What time do we have for Easter? Oh, the chicken. The, the chicken parm. Oh, I, I made a chicken parm. I, I oh my god. Do you do I, eggs? I did... You you be an American folks, do you do eggs for Easter? Um I, we grew up no, we grew up looking for Easter eggs when we were kids. Um, they them. still do it. Color and eggs, yeah. No, they, they gave me one at work. Give me an Easter egg at work. Is that like a oh, big Cadbury? Yeah. Yeah, a big, big chocolate egg. 
Well, that's a cream egg. That's, that's a Cadbury, a cat, no, that's basically. A, but it said Cadbury up top. Hold Did it, it up again, Derek. Hold, hold it up again. Let's hold on. Let's Over see a this. little bit. Yeah, I thought that's what that said. Why can't Cadbury's I? cream egg. Yeah, Cadbury. 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 I recognize the writing. That's a handful of diabetes right there. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that cream tastes good, but it's just pure sugar. I mean, the whole yeah. thing is just pure sugar. Yeah. yeah. Kate Smash is like, I have eggs with bacon. <laughs> right. Eggs with bacon is nice too. Mm -hmm. Tina says, I colored eggs this year. Right on. That's cool. Sharon says, WTF, my money would be on Stevie B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Stevie once got <laughs> mad at a truck driver for cutting her off, so to pay him back. She peed in his gas tank. That semi is now known as Optimus Prime. <laughs> 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 and now, and now, and now I'm searching for an Optimus Prime coat and I can't get one out of the top of my head. Uh, <laughs> Optimus Prime. Someone said cats bury eggs? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Cat bury no, I, I, I have the cats closed in the kitchen. They'll be in, in here crying if I didn't. <laughs> you rascals. Northwood says, I remember one year finding the last e Easter egg. Unfortunately, I found it in the middle of summer. <laughs> found it. Oh, put it back. Put it back. <laughs> I'm just trying to, trying, trying to remember the speech from the first Transformers movie. I'm laughing. What is what is this? Is we're <laughs> autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron. That's how it starts, isn't it? I oh, will have to look it up on YouTube afterwards. Yeah, it's been a while. I always liked I liked all those uh, Transformer movies. I did too. Oh, the special right. effects were amazing. Yeah, they were good. Oh, they, they definitely were for the time. They definitely were. And the one <laughs> I like I, I like the third one. Um, well, I didn't like the movie. The movie wasn't great, but there's a bit in it, and the building's collapsing, and there's obviously product placement, and you see this bottle of Bushmills whiskey just sitting in the middle of the table. <laughs> it's too obvious. It's unbelievable. Oh, the product placement, yeah. No, but the, the, I hope don't go eating with the cats, Barry. <laughs> but it always, always makes me laugh, because Bushmills is about 20 miles that direction over my shoulder. Pyra, what's happening? It says Michael, don't go eat in that wood. The, 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 the cat's bury. Yeah. Uh, that, that would be a bad idea. <laughs> Definitely would. Yeah. Karen said the, the dogs will find that. Indeed. <laughs> they will, for sure. And they'll clean it up for you. Yep. Brilliant. <laughs> Michael, don't be a quitter when you sift through the litter. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm not even putting that up. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, what, what is it? Clarkson's is in Top Gear and on that bombshell? <laughs> there, I like that one. Stevie B has a bear rug in her bedroom. It's not dead, it's just afraid to move. <laughs> oh, that was my dog. <laughs> Shit. And there, there's another thing to you, I promise, Leanne. Once the cats are gone, I have to get her a dog. What she wants a dog. Lord save us. As if I didn't have enough bar. <laughs> Northwoods, my ex isn't very bright, very bright, but even she wouldn't eat the crunchy Tootsie Rolls from the cat's, cat's litter box. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't want to go there. My dog would die. Yes. That's why I think my dog doesn't really go after the cats. <laughs> well, occasionally, but 
we have a lot of cats in this neighborhood, and it's just getting worse. Mm-hmm. Now, well, I, I inherited two when my mother passed away. A ginger tomcat. He's he's very very old now. He's well, he's dying to be honest. You know, he's blind in one eye and all that bad stuff. Can't see out of the other. There's another um, white one. He's a couple of years younger, and, and I mean pure white. You know, white from foot to tail. And um, there were a couple of weeks there. I came back from work, and obviously I let them out to run about. And she was out the front, and there was this black one appeared. And the two of them was giving each other the evils, as they do. And I found it and put it in, put it, put it in the old YouTube. About how Trixie made a new friend, a black cat and a white cat. <laughs> I used to be a cat person. Now I'm a dog person. I don't you hate don't cats. Don't those mugs. I, I, had, I had a wee cat. No, I can reach over. There's a picture of her lying about somewhere. Well, that's over there behind my shoulder. And she loved to be nearly 20. And after he she says, that, Where, Where's that, Moogs? Chinese special is on Friday. I'll send it over to the cooks. <laughs> and I, I, I worked Whoa. out if I get another cat and she lives 20 years, I'll be 70 something. And I just thought, No, I'm not doing it. Wow, that's an old cat. Right. No, but if, if you look after them, it's the same as a car. You know, you service it and look after it, it'll do. Some people they don't bother. <laughs> What's the fun now? The dinosaurs looked at Stevie B the wrong way once. You probably already knew what happened. Very good. And nothing to do with it. Ah, you're absolving yourself from responsibility for the death of the dinosaurs. But if the dinosaurs didn't die, we wouldn't have oil, so what can I say? That'll be done. I don't know if the dinosaurs were just the only like deciding factor in the oil, though. It's like no, that was over years and years, and like, every, every critter that like walked and all that. It's all <laughs> whatever. I'm babbling. It's glass. No, 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 actually going way back to the one the dinosaurs was way, way, way back. Was a nice lap. Nice thing to talk about. But uh, if you mentioned dinosaurs, if, well, you probably haven't, but and they took them away you now. But they used to have a big Diplodocus or Diplodocus, whatever way you want to call its name, in the Natural History Museum in London. It was always nice to go and visit whenever you were, in, you know, in town to see it. They um, hmm. very interesting how they actually got it. Uh, back in the night, it was nineteen tens, I think. Oh, wow. uh, the the fellow that was the um the king at the time or the prince at the time he just happened to be in america and he was talking to somebody and they'd found the the creature he says oh he says we'd like to have one of those and you know back in the days whenever a royal person said something you know what happened and they made a plaster sure. cast and skeleton and, and they sent it over to the natural history <laughs> so well they called it dippy 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 the diplodoc or Diplodocus, depending on what way you want to pronounce it. Couldn't say it twice. Well, yeah. couldn't say it twice, me. You know, no deal. <coughs> yeah, it's funny how royalty and, and those folks would always get what they wanted. Well, if you move in cer- certain circles back in the day, and I'm sure it's probably the same nowadays, but. Oh, sure. You want you'll get it. I, I'm, a, I'm a bit like that myself. Do you believe that there is a Loch Ness monster? No, sadly I don't. I think the Loch Ness monster is largely an invention of the Scottish Tourist Board to bring tourists to that part of Scotland, which is actually fairly remote. But it's a good old, good old yarn. The thing about the Loch Ness Monster is, if you've ever seen the original 1933 King Kong movie, the um, Loch Ness Monster was never described you know, with the, the neck up and gobbling and doing all that stuff until that movie came out. And that's whenever that concept of it got popular. 
Excuse me. But anyway. We like to dream. Now, there is, uh, there is a theory, that, and, and it was um, expounded upon earlier this year. They did a, a scientific examination of the water going into the lock. There might actually be large, very large, you know, excessively large eels. Eels, in the lock. yeah. They, I know they came back with a lot of eel DNA because um, they did eDNA testing. <clears throat> but how... I, I don't know how far back does the reports like when did they it goes, start? Oh, it goes way back. It goes back over a thousand years. Really? So, so there's, there's, there's some to it. No, they talk about um can't remember which scent it was, but he was crossing the lock. And um, you know, it got a stormy and all this here, and apparently a monster appeared and he blessed the and the monster disappeared. But no, it goes back a long time. I had I had a wee book. Whenever I was at school, I don't know if you did this over in America, but we used to have a wee school book club every three months. You know, they would come in and you, know, you could buy a wee book. And I bought one about the Loch Ness Monster. And I remember seeing that story in it. Oh, God. I remember, I remember those book clubs when I was in elementary school. And I probably bought the one with the Loch Ness Monster on it, too. <laughs> I remember Bigfoot on some of them and UFOs. That was the 70s. Oh, the 70s were Classic great mugs. Yeah, basically, yes. yeah. I remember. I used you to buy the that, Mad Libs. You get the folder <laughs> and, you know, yeah. I used to buy Mad Libs from the, the book fair. Yeah. <sighs> So no do I. It's a tourist trap, Loch Ness. Edinburgh's nice to visit now, to be fair. Edinburgh's a beautiful city. It's um, all that old architecture and all that good stuff. There's a couple of good pubs. Good all right, well, we're going to bring up Bigfoot King. Shane, how's it going, buddy? Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. How was your trip? Like have I got a story to tell you, kids? I tell you that. All so right. uh, the last one uh, uh, you guys seen there, I was headed to the airport. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You were. I think you were in the airport. I was in the airport. So I flew out from Calgary to this where I live, right? And it's a small little jumper plane. <clears throat> So I get on the plane, we had an emergency landing, and uh, I blew a, uh, a hole in my eardrum. Oh, no. So uh, WestJet, the, I'm not sponsored in any way by WestJet, but uh, WestJet uh, set me up for a week at the Hyatt for free and meals. Wow. Very reasonable. Uh, not that reasonable. No, I got a lawyer. There's uh, going to be more issues than that. I was, was going to say, say the that same doesn't thing. seem There's to no, compensate for... No. Yeah, no, I picked up a lawyer there out of Toronto, so we're going to see actually what happens here. And I mean, it ruined it ruined my trip back, and it was just a bunch of bullshit. So I had to rent a car, which cost me another thousand bucks. And I was going to say, not to mention the pain. I mean, are you, are you doing okay? I still got, it sounds like I'm talking into a big beer mug, to be honest with you. Derek probably understands that one. <laughs> <to a big laughs> <mug. laughs> You're going to actually have to excuse me now for two minutes because now that I see Bigfoot smoking, I'm going to have to go and spark something up. So I'll be back shortly. <laughs> All right, there, Derek. Let me put him backstage. Yeah, so, uh, so anyway, I, uh, I've been in, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. My ear is pooped. My jaw is a little sore. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see actually what happens. But uh, we were I'm so close when we were, when we were supposed to land, like I was supposed to land, I think, uh, 7.49 my time. And uh, when the pilot said we're turning around, it was 7.32, so... We must have been ready to land, but we flew all the way back to Calgary. Oh, wow. And, uh, 
Yeah, it was it was absolutely ridiculous. It was just, I don't know, a pain in the ass. Really, to be but, that close and have to fly all the way back? Would the yeah. pilot leave the toaster going or something? You know, well, I got about uh, I I got about ten emails from WestJet, <coughs> and they're they're telling me it was unscheduled maintenance. Unscheduled maintenance. <laughs> yeah. Have, that would be an emer that, that would be an before. emergency landing. <laughs> well, maybe they should have done that before. Before before we took off would yeah. be a good idea. Yeah. Because right. what's the difference if you land there or you land there? You still gotta land. You got to land. Well, I I think it all comes down to where I'm at. They would have or where I was ending up flying is uh you know, they would have had to bring it's logistics. So they would have had to bring in their repair crew. It would have been lodging. It would have been LOA. It would have been all that kind of bullshit, and uh, probably tools. I mean, it would have taken they, they whatever the it takes. It's the customer. Yeah. Right yeah. So they decided to save the plane and not save me, and uh, it's a pain in the ass. I mean, the hotels are nice, right? And it, it was even a fight for food. Like it was, it was ridiculous. Really. Well, they, they set you up in these big fancy hotels, right? And uh, but they don't realize that a bowl of soup is uh, twenty three bucks, a pop is twelve bucks, that kind of shit, right? So I don't know. I think it was a little, a little, a little crazy. But you know, being a business owner myself, the last thing I want to do is give money back, right? Sure. So for them to belly up right away and just start feeding me. Yeah. Obviously, there was an issue there, and I'm not the only one. There's there was 11 of us on the flight, so yeah, I was gonna ask how many were were on the flight. Yeah, just a small, small little jet. That sucks about your ear, though. That's how's your balance? Yeah. Uh, no, balance seems to be balance seems Maybe. to be okay. The okay. gate seems to be okay. It's just headaches. And they're talking if the hole doesn't uh, close up properly, there might be grafting involved, uh, graft a, a piece in there. And I mean, it just gets worse and worse. But at the end of the day, it's adding zeros and zeros. I'm hoping. But at what cost, you know? But at what cost, yeah, exactly. The only way that they, the, like I was able to get out was I could have flown the next day. They had me booked the next day, but I just told him, I said, I spent uh, eight hours in emergency. I was going to say, can you imagine, <clears throat> excuse me, imagine after going through that with all the pressure going back up into that pressure again? I, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, you're, you're right, Stevie, because they said that it was uh, surprising that uh, doctor and emergency gave me that uh, fly, I can fly ticket to ride. But uh, all the doctor said was, uh, if you go up, it can cause further damage or uh, you're going to be in, in extreme pain. So I thought, well, I'm not going to fly. So I had to rent a car and there's another huge expense. And sure. How many hours did it take you driving? Uh, six, six and a half hours. Jeez. Six yeah, and a half hours. Know. See, this, this whenever, is the whole thing. Whenever, whenever the colonial types talk about driving six hours. And the guy knew your country's big. I, I could drive from one end of the Ireland to the other in six hours. Yeah, yeah. But are you in North Ireland or South Ireland? Northern Ireland, my friend. Northern, Northern Ireland. Ireland. I was in Dublin, but yesterday. Oh, is that right? My message is from Dublin. You guys you got some crazy it. history over there, pal. Crazy oh. history. But I always, always tell <clears throat> anybody visiting Dublin. The trick with Dublin is you don't look at the, you don't look at street level. You know, because it's all new shops. It's all the stuff. Is that, is that where you are right now, uh, Derek? No, I'm, I'm, I'm in Lima Valley. I'm, I'm, I'm up in the northwest. I'm near the coast. No, no, near but the, you're in Ireland right now. Yes. Oh, yes. I, I, Jesus, I, I wouldn't leave it. <laughs> wouldn't leave it. <laughs> wouldn't leave it. Well, That's don't sad. come to Canada because it's piss poor here, I'll tell you that. No, see, see where I am. Where I am is good. Because we're right out by the coast, and it's it's vaguely remote and vaguely old fashioned, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, and, um, that's cool. It's nice. 
You know, people talk to you in shops, people says hello to you in the street, people drive past you and they, they do the glisten, lift their hand, wait, 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 wait. Their car. you know, that's sort of way. It's not, it's so you're not, not too, so, so where you are, you're not too fond of the Brits then, I guess. Well, they don't bother me. They are. No, I was just, I was just looking at the color of your beard there, and uh, you probably remember the IRA. And I no, no, you're talking. If you if you want to go down that that road, I can tell you a story or two about that. I rest oh, the IRA. In that that's what we're here for, boss. Back in the day, was, that's um, some crazy times, boss. Crazy times. I was in I was in the Ulster Defence Regiment. And um, we covered, we were D company, but we covered C company, the full timers. On a Sunday night. And we did it three nights. And every time we did it, something bad happened. So we, we stopped it. But the last time I did it, we drove over. We used to go to the ops room, which was on the other side of the airfield, for a briefing. And the guy, he just opened the window. And he just shut it out. He says, fuck off. He says, get to kill Ray. There's been a shooting. There's been a murder. So we jumped there, he just jumped in the land, we drove over, and that was grand. And some poor wee man had been shot. Right. We'll, we'll, not, we'll not get into the thing because poor creditor was dead. I seen the car afterwards and the holes on and the bullet marks and stuff. And, and we pulled up, but the BBC News had got there before us. And they come up, and the thing was, they, they were trying to get us to say something that they could put in the news. We weren't allowed to speak to them at all. And at the time, I was. The machine gunner so i had a big big lsw machine gun with a night state and everything on it so i just jumped out of the back of the land rover ran down the street in the middle of Calais, which is a wee, wee teeny teeny tiny town we tiny market town and there was a vet's place that we wall around i ran down there and set up the machine gun and um obviously we, i was supposed to be back at two or three in the morning but it was so old i was i was actually still living with my parents at the time and they they were panicking because i didn't turn up and I landed home at seven in the morning when I should have been there for about two o'clock and turned on the television and the news. And who who was who was on the news running down the street carrying a bloody great machine gun but me? So you made the you made the news, boss. Good one. Made the news. Wow. Made the news carrying a machine gun. But but that night we went and we, we knew the thing was the thing was Ireland's a small country. You know, like funny, me and Leanne was talking about this, this yesterday. You, you couldn't get away with having an affair in Ireland because somebody will see you no matter where you go. But um, so I, I came back home and as I say, this this thing was on the TV and there was me running down the bloody street with a bloody machine gun. And uh, oh, oh. They were, they, those were the days. Eh? Yeah. Those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> those were the days. Yeah. No, but I mean, I mean, look at me now. I mean, can you imagine somebody handing me a machine gun and told me to go out and look after people? I mean, fuck. Tina G says, Bigfoot King, what's the accent? Canadian. Canadian. Hey, eh? Yeah. Hey, eh? Yeah. Canadian. <laughs> Lord, and I think, uh, I think, Derek, don't you have some crazy moonshine there where you are? You've got some kind of potato stuff, don't you? Pochini, Pochini, yes, Pochini, or Pachi, or something. Where I live, because as I say, I'm near the coast, but you can look over and you can see Donegal. You know, that's over the border in, in the Republic. Yeah, I had a buddy he smuggled me some into Canada there, a little six pack of it, and uh, oh, <laughs> you can wake up on the wrong side of the fence. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you can. It used to be you, you could see. The wee farms, like, because the way North Ireland is, you know, it's all wee small farms. And you can see the fires at night where people lit up to fire up the stall, you know, to burn the, you know, to make the pot chain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Good stuff. No, my my ex-wife, whenever she was, you know, she's a twin, and whenever her and her brother was born, her um, friend or fellers give, give him a bottle of pot chain. And the key wasn't a drinker, so he never opened it, but he kept it in the cupboard. You know, 20 odd years later, I was sitting there and there was silly tape, you know, sticky tape around the top of the bottle and it had gone yellow, you know, because the bottle had been there so long. The bottle of pussy. Probably better. Blew your mind. 
who it would. <laughs> so what was it, like a potato vodka or something? Or Yep, I potato vodka. Jokes, bro. Trust but me, it's, trust uh, me. it's you really hard slug. Like, uh, I gave uh, some to my brother, and I sat down and finished the bottle, and he lost his taste buds for about three days. <laughs> I'll do that to you. All right. You, you, can, you can lose yourself for about three days and wake up afterwards. No, I've, had, I've had moonshine. Like he, that's like, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've had moonshine uh, in Tennessee, but then no, growing up, my, my, my dad, my dad had this jug of Prohibition whiskey that he filtered and filtered and filtered and and cleaned it up because it was old, and that shit was that that would knock your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just seventy percent proof. It's fucking crazy stuff. No, I said Mister Haywood was um, asking when I'm smoking. I'm smoking a Hamlet cigar. Um, now, uh, as I mentioned before, the um, it's a tradition here. Whenever a baby's born, you smoke a cigar. So I went out and bought a packet whenever um, Leanne's daughter had the baby, and I'm just finishing them off now. Mr. Hugh, good night. Good to see you. Take care, Mr. Hugh. Thanks for hanging out. No, it's a traditional tradition here as well. Usually, you know, yeah. Yeah. when a child's born, the father hands out cigars. It's a boy or it's a girl. And um, no, I'm, I'm not know, usually a smoker. To be honest, but like, you I'm, know, I'm a drink. Hey, you bring you up know, a good we, point. You bring up a good point because back then we used to. Okay, you had a baby. Here's a cigar type of thing uh, for a boy or a girl. So what kind of cigars are we giving uh, away uh, nowadays, guys? I don't know, dude. Hey, what are we giving away now? How much? Crazy shit. I'm not, yeah, I'm not even going to. No, no, no. I understand that. Yeah, don't go yes. there. Don't go there. <laughs> but I get it. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> It was just a question. It was just a question. <laughs> no, they used to. They, you, they used to be allowed to over here. They used to be allowed to advertise cigarettes and cigars and TV, and then they banned it. And Hamlet, you know, they, they went with the flow and they made a, you know, a last advertisement to say that they were leaving. You couldn't put advertisements on it anymore. But, no, traditional. And the day we. I don't remember any, Alice was born. any commercials for cigarettes, do you? Marvel. Marvel Man. No, no, I remember was too. The TV, TV or was it, was it I, magazine? See, I don't know. I don't remember any cigarette commercials. Well, I mean, there was a ton of radio commercials, right? Chesterfield yeah. and L&M. Sure, and, sure. and a lot of the a lot of them sponsored those shows back then. Yeah, um, yeah. The thing, the thing I always remember, they sponsored Formula One. And the cars, you know, the racing cars, used to have all the, the cigarette brands on them. Marlboro and, and Camel. On there. Yeah, that, Marlboro and Camel. I don't, I don't, I don't know how it is with you guys, but over here now, the, the cigarettes yeah. now come from, they're, they're all blank blank packs. You know, they just have the name on them. But they used to have, you know, McFaller used to smoke Benson Hedges, and they came in a, you know, a gold packet. And Marlboro was in a, a white and red packet, and Regal was in a blue and white packet and stuff. That's all done away with now. Well, we're looked down upon smoking. Are you still trying to quit, Mog, or what's happening there? Trying? I haven't. I haven't attempted yet. Uh, we talked well, about. Trying, it. We're, hey, we're talking about it. Trying is good, boss. Trying is good. Yeah. Do you know yeah. all the old we're people? I mean, do you know what they do? They do these um. These beers. And they, they look like a dragon. There's that much stuff coming out of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, I've seen that. It's ridiculous. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had the same thought. No, I don't, I don't get that. What's, what's the purpose of blowing out that much? Vapor, yeah, it's you know, a bit obnoxious. Taking that much I, I was in. behind a car. Okay, you guys are making me feel self-conscious about smoking now, okay? Why? Why? 
because we're talking about smoking. Oh, thank you, Stevie. Good job. Well, Y'all talking about it now. I want to stress about it, buddy. Smoke them if you got And I noticed, uh, Stevie, you've got a new background. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. It's a start. It's a work yeah. in progress. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Because everybody was saying you got orbs there behind you, and now you got like lots yeah, of yeah, orbs. Of orbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you see an orb now. Looks like you hit a bunch of orbs with a fly sweater and they just stuck to the <laughs> Just <wall>. flat. <laughs> <laughs> No, I went back and looked at, at that show that Jen was talking about, and sure enough, something, I saw that. Yeah. something goes kind of... That's crazy. Yeah. But, I mean, it's like you were saying before. Some people are more susceptible, and uh, it comes from the mind, I guess. That was a, That's the first time I've seen anything like that. On or a, Like with me in a video or a picture. It was a fly. Yeah, or it could have been, been, been a fly. But could have been a fly. Could have been a fly. Could have been. It was definitely intriguing. Not to be a buzz killer. Yeah, but no, it's. I said it. I, I said it could have been a moth. Didn't didn't they do a whole episode of that Breaking Bad a bit of fly? If I remember correctly. I don't know. Do we, now you know. Watch that show. I haven't seen that show in a long time, what and, I, and I never watched the whole series Breaking Bad. Oh no! I, I used to get the time I had the goatee beard and then the bald head. Well, always just all of a bald head. But the, the young fellows used to laugh at me. They used to say <laughs> I was like the, you know, the character in Breaking Bad. Sure. You must have you must have watched the show uh, Pinky Blinders, yeah. Yeah. I I didn't actually watch that now to be honest. I, I know the show you're talking about, Dan. Oh, it's it was, it was a dynamite series. Dynamite series, Derek. You'd love it. Dynamite series. Netflix right now. It is. I've never seen it. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's good. I had a gangsters and was it Birmingham or Liverpool or somewhere? Just yeah, it's fighting. gangsters, but I'm not sure where the actual setting is. I'm not either. Bigfoot King Christy was asking while you were out there, did you see or hear any Bigfoot? I believe it was Christy that asked. Okay, I do have some footage, you guys. So as I promised Stevie and Mog there, I think uh, because I got your email, uh, Mog, and I think I'm just going to shoot you a couple little pictures so you can see, and then I'm just going to do a few posts there, and I'll do some videos. All that footage and stuff, is that the editor? <clears throat> they're doing whatever they're doing with it. I don't, I don't know what that procedure is all about, but they say it's very time consuming. So I'm just going to let them do their thing and uh, hopefully we can get some stuff out. I've got a few little, I just did a rap parody there the other day. So yes, that's, that's, what, I, that's what I saw today. I think I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> if you, if you want to see Bigfoot King doing the old, it was actually, it was a mock eh, of the younger kids actually what it was. I don't listen to that music, trust me. I'm oh, stuck in it. It's like you were enjoying it. <laughs> well, well, I was. It was, uh, it was a funny Fun thing. Yeah, I know. It was a funny thing, and uh, I don't even know. I just typed in crazy rap, and that's the song it came out. So, <laughs> That's cool. Should have had a bandana. But, yes, I did. I did uh, get uh, the uh, really good. That's not a man advertising with Dallas. Yeah. Bad advertisement. Yeah, this is bad advertisement, all right. Hmm. No, but I did get some good footage, uh, Stevie, and and uh, I'll uh, I'll definitely post some stuff. And uh, I've got a full I've got a full face on picture of a face. So where I was, I was up, this was, uh, I think it was like uh, midday. I just went out into a clearing and I took my camera and I went bop, 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 all around me. And uh, we we're looking at it uh, afterwards and uh, zooming around and checking out the photos. Sure enough, and I think it was a juvenile just by the size of it. Wasn't very high off the ground, either that it was crouching or laying or whatever it, they do but it's full face on 
I'll put it out there. You guys make the judgment whether you believe it or not. But I think I'll shoot you that one there, Mug and Stevie, so you can have a peek and make your judgment and comment on it. And That's I mean, nice. there's no masks, there's no suits, there's no, there's no shit like that. No bullshit. I look forward yeah. to seeing it. Yeah, absolutely. Now I'm now I'm excited. Right. <laughs> you know, the thing is, obviously, there's, there's none of those creatures over here anymore. But there wouldn't be so many people turn around and said they'd seen them if they weren't real. That's the way I look at it. You know, why, well, why they, would people? I think I think you're people, absolutely right, Derek. I think that's I think that's the way that you should uh, uh, look at a topic, regardless of what the topic is. Right, you should look at it with, you know, skepticism and uh, science, and, uh, and with an open mind. And uh, and I think that's, you know, and that's what drew me to the channel. And then you guys, uh, I even got a little bit of a thing where I went to Parliament Buildings to the Ministry of Forestry. So that's going to be shot there, and I had to go through security and get screened and all of that kind of thing just to see what they're doing with the choppers. And yes, Stevie. I did get some pictures of some army choppers, so that's awesome. Well, that's cool. Right on, Jeepers. I look forward to yeah. seeing it all. And they I were buzzing me. Back in the day and, and the helicopters flying down. We used to have to they, point their weapons. They were buzzing me way. like crazy, I'll tell you that. Hmm. You know, in case you had an accidental discharge that harmed the rotors, so we had to, you know, you had to point the, you know, the muzzle of the rifle down or the machine gun or whatever you had. Uh, those were the days, eh? Getting old now. Old, old man stories. Were you the last one in the chopper or the first one in the chopper, Derek? First one out. <laughs> first first no, one we, out. We did we did that one time and we flew off yeah, over first, a, huh? a place called <laughs> near near where I am. It's called the, the Glen Stream Pass. And we flew up there. And um back in the day the chopper didn't land and hovered about four foot above the ground and we all just you just bombed out and the thing was they called it all around defense you ran out and you lay down in a circle around it so the helicopter took away and um we had a guy and he was only new and he jumped out of the chopper and he went running and he, and he wasn't going to stop and I had to reach out and trip him up. You had to grab him by the foot and trip him over. And I said, no, no, just lie down. And I said, don't be, just don't be running. <laughs> Banana Chinook, Chinook CR designs. Done that. And do you know the scary thing about a Chinook CR designs is, see, you whenever know, you're in it, the way they work, the actual, the roof of the, of the Chinook vibrates, moves. And you're sitting watching it move and you think, oh, my God. <laughs> is this thing going to crash or whatever? Yeah, is it's it going to hold together? It's just the way they're built. It's just the way, you know, just happens. But it's 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 scary to see. <laughs> Not like that. Hmm. No, no, it's deeper. Well, okay. I don't I don't envy that, but I really appreciate anybody that can do that. I mean, that's a tough call. Tough call. No, I, I, I was a young man. I was only 19, 20 at the time. And I didn't know any better. I wouldn't do it now. Trust me. But whenever, you know, you're a young no, man, you're a bit of adventure and stuff. It's all very exciting. Yeah, it's not you, like the movies. No, you get, get a bit older and you sort of think, nah, there's no... You look back, I, I'll be honest with you, I look back and I think, see some of the things I did, there's no way on God's green earth I would ever do them again. <laughs> uh, there's well, some there's, of them that you would like to do. Uh, you're, you're full of tester zone and all that good stuff, and you just you just go and do these mad things. Mr. Lee says, medicine, well, medication, medication time. time. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are at the two hour mark. Um, you said that. You started to say I that. I looked, and I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, I know. Two hours. We can go for another hour easy. We can go for another hour easy. No, I'm not. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're well, like, it's, I no, just, uh, I, I, I will just say it, it was a pleasure to come back on the channel. It was it a was pleasure to meet to yourself, you. thanks for King. And no, just, just the way it is will work now. Nice to meet you, Derek. No, pleasure. But, you know, takes takes me back to the old days. The old, the old Mog show. 
three years ago, yeah, the old days. Oh, <laughs> Where does the time go? Well, well, on for? <laughs> well I appreciate you guys letting me on. That kind of a thing. Uh, I'll make sure that I send you out a couple of photos there. You make a judgment call. Yeah, I'm, then, I'm, forward to I'm looking them. forward to it. And then we'll, uh, and then I'll just uh, pop on and uh, and we can talk about that. What do you guys think? Absolutely. Because Absolutely. I really Absolutely. like uh, your guys' opinion. I mean, you guys made me go out there. Maybe we'll figure I, out. I, I yeah, I, I forced them. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, so like yeah. No, <laughs> I do. I'm thrilled that you went out there. No, it was cool as shit that you went out there based on conversation we had. That that's. <laughs> Uh, well, a, I'm just glad that you guys uh, allowed me back on. I'll make sure that I shoot you guys off uh, an email with a couple of pictures. It was nice chatting with you guys. Don't you stay go. up too late. And okay. always eat your vitamins. <laughs> Good night, Shane. Talk to you, Talk Thank to you. you guys soon. All right, man. Thanks. All right, Derek. We're going to bail. I'll see you the next time of a deal. Say hi, my love. Yep. Say hi to Leanne. Um, hi, no. I'll you, I'll be done Saturday. I'll see you on Saturday. So. Very good. All right, All right okay, folks. It was a pleasure. Day. All right. Good night. All right. Bye. Oops. Oh, he was saying bye, I think, to me. <laughs> bye. Bye, <Steve>. dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was cool. I'm looking forward to seeing these pictures and when. when For uh, sure. Bigfoot King post them on his channel. Um, you know, keep an eye out for that. But yeah, I'm I'm excited. Maybe we'll figure out how to show him if he comes on next show, and we can bring him up. Let everybody see, maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm sure he'll have a post by then, but hopefully, yeah, but hopefully by Thursday we can get him on. Yeah. Well, guys, I want to thank everybody for hanging out tonight. I hope you had fun. If you did, please hit that like button below. If you're new, subscribe, share it out. We'll be back on Thursday. Hopefully, um, this will come together with Shane, the Bigfoot King. And uh, we'll see what we see. And leave know. comments. Listen to her. Comments. Leave yes. comments. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. Love you guys. Peace and God bless. <laughs>